Hey folks, it's Duke here from GeoFolks. Today we're going to work on a spatial join. So we'll be going from lines to lines. So I have these lines along a certain river section, and we want to join data from that river section to each of these specific lines. So as I say, we want to know which section is on, which section each of these lines are on. What we'll do is we'll right click on a feature we want to join to, click add spatial join. Under the target feature, that'll be the feature we want to join the data to. The join features are which we want to take the data from. We'll keep keep all target features checked and we'll use closest geodesic as our match option. And then under the fields toggle down, we can select all the fields we want to join in. So I'm just interested in the river section. So I'll exit out all of these fields and I'll only use river section. That'll be the only thing that I join. So then once we go back to our attribute table, we'll see the river section of the closest line feature is joined. So we'll want to check that just to make sure it works out. Once you're satisfied that your join worked properly, what you can do is you can use a field calculator to enter that data in and finalize it. So if you don't finalize the data either by using a field calculator or exporting this entire feature class to a new feature, you run the risk of losing this join because this type of spatial join is in fact temporary and needs to be finalized. If you were to not finalize it and you were to remove the feature class, or not save the map, then you lose this data that you just joined into the target feature. So the way I just finalized the data is I created a new field called river section within the target feature class. And then using the field calculator, I set this new field equal to the field we just joined. And that way the field calculator will enter each field value into the new field of choice, finalizing the data. After that, you can go to joins and relates and click remove all joins. And then we can see the new field that we just created utilizing the data that we joined and the joined fields have then been removed. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell for more content.